Hello and welcome to Netophone's tutorial on how to add an outbound route to your existing trunk. In the previous tutorial we have covered how to set up a SIP trunk using the free PBX user interface. If you haven't set up the trunk yet, you may click on the link provided to view the previous tutorial. Now we will use this registered trunk to add an outbound route. I would like to give a moment here for you to click on the link located below in the description section of this video to download the quick reference PDF file that will serve as both a guide and easy access if you would like to copy and paste the content that is covered within this video. With that said, let us begin. Log into your PBX server and load the free PBX homepage. Click on PBX Administrator. Now a new page should appear. In this page, hover over Connectivity and click on Outbound Routes. The Add Route page should appear. Under Route Settings, we will be entering the route name which is the arbitrary name that you will set for this outbound route for future reference within the settings layout. For purposes of this tutorial, we use the name International. The next section we will be dealing with is dial patterns that will use this route, specifically the match pattern prompt. Before we begin, let us define some important terminology. The letter X is any digit from 0 to 9, Z is any digit from 1 to 9, N is any digit from 2 to 9, and the symbol period, also known as wildcard, represents 0 or more digits from 0 to 9. Before we begin filling this prompt, we must determine which dial number patterns we want to map this outbound route to. An easy to use website designed to help find call patterns to and from any location is howtocallabroad.com. The link to this website is included in the quick reference guide PDF file. Let us say we want this outbound route to map calls that I make from my United States location to another location within the United States or, or Canada. Additionally, I want to include calls made to most international locations. So first, let us look on the website, the map dial pattern to within the United States and Canada. So let's say I'm calling from USA or Canada, and I want to call to another location within the United States. Here it gives us a prompt about the num North American number plan. It tells us that the pattern is a number from 2 to 9, any two digits, another number from 2 to 9, another two digits, and then four digits, all beginning with 1. So now I could go back to my match pattern route, and I know that it's going to be 1, n, which represents that 2 to 9, another 2 digits, another 2 to 9, another 2 digits, and then 4 corresponding digits. So that we have 1, nxx, nxx, xx, xx. But I still need another dial pattern to include international calls. So here I will click on add more dial pattern fields. I will go back to how to call abroad. I will go back to the search page. And now if we actually look down here for easy reference, they see that for calls to most countries from the United States and Canada, dial the following pattern 011, the country code, and then the phone number. But let us say I don't want to be specific. I just want to say international calls. So here I see it's 011 followed by any digit afterwards. So I could just say 011 and then the wildcard symbol. So let us map it. 011 and then period for wildcard. So now I have mapped both my intra United States and Canada and my international calls. So here I'm done, but I would like to map which trunk is going to deal with this outbound route. So under trunk, trunk sequence for matched routes, I will select the route that I have created in the previous tutorial, net to phone one. Click on submit changes. Then afterwards, click on apply config.
Now, after the page finishes refreshing, we can now verify that you have successfully set up your outbound route. Locate the submenu on the right side of the page, and you should see your outbound route specified by your route name located in the submenu. For me, international. This confirms that your outbound route has been registered by your server. Congratulations, you have set up an outbound route.